scrappy friends I'm just about to start a layout using uniquely creative steampunk graffiti um, and if you have seen previous videos that I've made I actually have bought quite a lot of this range so today I'm going to use um, this piece which is Butterflies to Fussy Cut um, and that's just called a cut apart sheet. I'm going to use this tag from the paper that's called Cyberpunk. So it's got this very pale brickwork on the back but I need that. This paper here which is called Underground I'm going to use it on the side of this paper, so over on this side, but I will fussy cut around some of the bricks so that I've got an interesting edge on it. This will be my background paper and some of my embellishments I'm going to make and I've been inspired by this light bulb with wings, so I will use the wings from the butterflies um, there are some light bulbs here in the creative cuts pack um, I'm going to use this photograph which is a five inch square one of my daughter and on her shirt it says in a, a world where you can be anything be kind and I thought this would be my title words have power so that's my basic premise for starting this um, we'll see where it goes from there. I'm going to have to work on this unfolded white pizza box because my work surface is black and the um, background that I'm using won't show up against the black. So I have selected and prepared the pieces that I want for this layout. I have my photograph with a very thin black mount. Um, I have that um, tag that I spoke about earlier and I've mounted that onto black and put a black um, eyelet thing in and I'll punch a hole in that because when I put it on here without the black it just didn't show up at all and so that's what's initiated everything being on black I also have this piece which is, let me just have a look, which is called Underground um, and as I said I was going to cut it into um, a shape rather than use it as a whole. This piece here is called Urban and I've cut a quarter of an inch from the right and the top and the um, the other paper that I've used is called Cyberpunk and from that I have cut the large butterfly which I split in half I cut the light bulb and somewhere in here, here we are, that's the the centre of the butterfly which I'm going to make my butterflies up like that. So I also have some butterflies from the um, die cut pack, some bulbs from the die cut pack and a pointing finger. I also have uh, a frame, some word strips and I pulled out the pink and girly cogs but when I was getting the cogs um, I also noticed that these bits were in the centre and I thought they would make nice little almost like enamel dots scattered about the page so I have those from the rub-ons I've chosen this one which will be my title and the two rainbow splashes and also I've cut a one inch frame from a piece of black card and this will 
go on there with just a little bit of a black border. Next I need to add my photo and the tag and I need to collect my photo. splashes here to cover up this word and then I'm going to add another one down here to kind of cover up that word as well these were pieces cut from the cyberpunk paper so it was a whole butterfly and um, as I said, I quite liked the ones on the other paper that had a bulb as a body, but I thought what I would do is put the bulb underneath the body. So I'll add these here and then add the bulb and the body. And that also covers up this little bit of writing that I don't like. This frame which I'm going to pop here I have 
use the centers from these um, little cogs and I've put some glossy accents on them and made them into some little faux enamel dots which I'm going to use on my page um, and also I'm going to add these word strips and this little pointy finger. The reason I'm using this pointy finger is because there's a funny crease in my daughter's t-shirt so I thought I could use the pointing finger to go to the be kind to disguise it and then also use the break the mold word strip. some ribbon which I'm going to add to the tag so I've pulled this off because I need to put that somewhere else and some black gems that I'm going to scatter around the faux enamel dots this is insisting on popping up I'm going to staple it down so. this is my finished layout I started out with a piece 
of steampunk graffiti paper called Urban. To the side I added a piece of underground which I fussy cut around the bricks. This was a tag from um, Cyberpunk and so is the large butterfly and the light bulb. I've also used um, three of the Urban Graffiti Rubbons, so one for my title and two splashes to cover up the words that were printed on the paper. I used the um, Creative Cuts for these butterflies and the little pointing finger. Also this one and this one are from Creative Cuts along with the two sets of cogs. These were the centres from the cogs which I covered with glossy accents to make little faux enamel dots and what else have I got? And this piece here was cut from one of the cut apart papers. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.